in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen with the carmelite fathers my dear friends greet you in the name of jesus and welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 30th of march saturday of the third week of lent the holy gospel according to luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 14 at that time jesus told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others two men went up into the temple to pray one a pharisee and the other a tax collector the pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself god i thank you that i am not like other men extortioners unjust adulterers or even like this tax collector i fast twice a week i give tithes of all that i get but the tax collector standing far off would not even lift up his eyes to heaven but beat his breast saying god be merciful to me a sinner i tell you this man went down to his house justified rather than the other for every one who exalts himself will be humbled but he who humbles himself will be exalted the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ My dear friends the first part of lent that is the first 3 weeks today is the last day of the third week focuses on the preparation for the celebration of the paschal mystery what the lenten program of prayer fasting and arms giving intends if you remember well all the readings and the liturgy all were focusing on the preparation part for the celebration of the paschal mystery especially about prayer fasting arms giving now from monday onwards that is the monday of the fourth week we will begin the second half of lent where after laying down the foundation that is the disposition the church begins to focus on the passion of christ you must follow these readings carefully very interesting readings from monday onwards the passion of christ so concluding the first part of lent today the liturgy reminds us that the goal of the lenten exercises is to help us grow in love and knowledge of god both scripture readings reiterate that god is not interested in superficial and fake prayers as they do not come from the heart hosea 
in the first reading chapter 6 verses 1 to 6 tells the people for searching for the lord only in their misery Hosea in the first reading tells the people of for searching for the lord only in their misery they would repeat prayers from their ancestors which on the surface looked impressive but in actual fact were all hollow the hypocritical attitude towards god is exemplified in the prayer of the pharisee in today's gospel he came before god not to ask for mercy or for his blessings rather he came before god to boast about his merits he prided himself in his virtues he lived in a world of his own thinking that he was above all men by comparing himself with others he valued in his pride became judgmental and self righteous saint teresa of avila the reformer of the carmelite order a great mystic of mystic from spain says that the goal of prayer is charity the fruit of all our spiritual exercises is charity without growth in charity either for our neighbors ourselves or for god we have prayed in vain we have not prayed rightly not so much in using the wrong methods but having the wrong heart in prayer we should have the attitude of the tax collector who was a sinner despised by all men he knew himself and he knew he was a sinner let us pray my dear friends on the 30th of march antonet rodriguez from mumbai Lestern Sean Dyes from Suratkal Florin Aranna from Moodbelde are celebrating their birthdays we wish them happy birthday and we pray that god continues to bless them it's also the death anniversary of Kosis Lobo from Nakre Karkal Santan De Costa from Ganjimata Teresa Dyes from Mumbai Rosy Dimello from Mumbai, Florin De Silva from Petri. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. And today being Saturday, a day dedicated to honor our heavenly mother. And as we proceed to pray the novena prayer to our lady of Mount Carmel, let's ask our mother's intercession on all our petitions. On all our listeners of Carmel Light. our donors and benefactors our students children who are writing their exams and all sick and aged brothers and sisters of us those who are in need of our prayers holy mother of god we greet you as queen and mother of carmel You were raised from being a lowly handmaid to the great dignity of mother of the word incarnate. We dedicate ourselves as an act of filial homage. We glorify the Holy Trinity by honoring you. And in our many needs, we have recourse to your protection and your powerful intercession. Jesus, your son was so obedient to you on earth. will certainly grant your petitions on our behalf with this trust and unbounded confidence 
we beseech you to hear our prayers and obtain for us of your divine son the favors we request in this novena having experienced the efficacy of your prayers we are full of confidence that you will gain for us this favor if it is for the glory of god and for our good amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come the will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen a lady of mount carmel pray for us thanksgiving prayer holy mother of god and queen of carmel we are children come before you in a spirit of filial devotion and gratitude as mother of our spiritual life you have obtained for us innumerable graces and blessings from our heavenly father who has given to us through you the greatest of all treasures christ our lord we recognize with deep sentiments and thankfulness all the spiritual favors that have come to us through your powerful intercession in particular we thank you for your special protection over those who wear your holy scapular with faith and love and finally we thank you for answering our prayers in our personal needs we implore from you the great grace of final perseverance that we remain faithful to the end to your son our lord jesus christ who is lord forever and ever amen pray for god's blessing my dear friends may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts and if you wish to receive them directly from our hand on the previous night itself Kindly WhatsApp me your full name and place. I am Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite priest, and my WhatsApp number is nine four eight one two six three two two nine. Nine four eight one two six three two two nine. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.